Hey everyone, it's Kajani with a guide going over how to craft the smaller water otter fountain outdoor furnishing that was released in Final Fantasy XIV patch 6.3. This video is going to go over the process from start to finish. That's going to include farming the three new Gliowather, then moving on to crafting the parts for the smaller water otter fountain. Crafting the parts for the fountain does involve expert recipes. If you had a bad experience with the Island Sanctuary version of the Water Otter Fountain, you might be like, nah Kajani, I'm good, I'm a pass. However, I do urge you to give this a shot because our good friend Pliant is back in the condition list. If you aren't familiar with what Pliant does, well, it reduces the cost of job actions by 50%. Whenever you get the Pliant condition, it gives you the option to use job actions that can extend your craft, like Manipulation or Master's Mend. Or it just saves you CP while you're working towards completing the expert recipe. Overall, the process of crafting the smaller water otter fountain is a great opportunity to make some gill or simply a good addition to your front lawn. Pure Virtuous Glyoether and Pure Ignis Glyoether can be obtained from Prime or Sublime Shangos or Chondrite. When farming for Pure Virtuous or Pure Ignis Glyoether, your goal is to reach max collectability. At max collectability, you'll have a chance to receive a Sublime Collectible. Once you've achieved max collectability, your chance at getting a Sublime Collectible will be in the top left corner of the Gathering HUD. With that in mind, your rotation will be a scrutiny followed by a brazen action, then another scrutiny, then another brazen action. If you aren't at max collectability afterwards, use a meticulous action in order to bring you to max collectability. If you manage to get a sublime collectible, you are guaranteed at least one Glyoate. A higher gathering stat increases your chances of a prime collectible becoming sublime. If after a few rounds of gathering prime collectibles, you aren't satisfied with the amount of Glyoather that you received, you can always pick some up, well at least the Ignis or Virtuous from the market board. They aren't that expensive since they are easier to obtain in comparison to the Aqueous Glyoather. Now let's move on to farming pure Aqueous Glyoather. Let's go to the Lower Hungering Gardens fishing node in Elpis where we will be fishing for the Philanos. The Philanos is a fish with a light tug and your bait of choice will be the Mayfly. The fishing window for the Philanos is up every hour and it's open for 8 minutes. It's best to get to the fishing node before the window opens up so you can use surface slap on one of the other two fish that also have a light tug. In order to maximize the collectability of the Philanos, we are going to be using the job action prized catch. Prized catch is going to guarantee that the Philanos is caught as a large size fish and catching a large size fish increases collectability, thus giving us a better chance at getting pure aqueous glyoether. I didn't use chum in order to catch the Philanos because if I reduce the cast time, I may confuse the Philanos with one of the other two fish with light tugs. So I'm going to start the progress phase with a muscle memory and then I didn't get a malleable so I'm going to use veneration and hope I get a malleable right after this. Uh, since I got a pliant, I'm going to use manipulation and that's going to help me extend the craft. I'm really looking for that malleable so let's use careful observation and hope I get it. My last one here and I got my malleable. So now I just need this rapid synthesis to be successful and it was and I got another malleable here. So together with veneration, it will buff a successful rapid synthesis. Thankfully it was successful. Now I am one step away from completing the craft. It's time to move on to the quality phase and start building up our stacks of inner quiet. That primed condition there extended innovation by two steps. So it's going to last six steps instead of four. I'm going to use Precise Touch so I can get two stacks of Inner Quiet, then I'm going to move on to my quality combo of Basic Touch, Standard Touch, and then Advanced Touch. So after this Advanced Touch, let's see where we're at. Um, I have a Centered, so I'm going to try a Hasty Touch and see, okay, that was successful, and even better, I now have a Pliant Condition. 
Master's Mend is tempting here, but I'm going to choose Manipulation instead because it's going to allow me to reduce the cost of durability over 8 turns, plus I have the possibility of gaining durability if I use a buff, like I did right there with Innovation. Centered here, so let's try Hasty, and it was successful. Malleable, don't really care about that since I'm not increasing progress. Time to use the 1, 2, 3 quality combo to bring me to 10 stacks of inner quiet. Okay, let's see where we're at. I got a pliant condition which will decrease the CP cost of advanced touch from 18 to 9. I have 15 durability but I'm not really worried since once I have 10 stacks of inner quiet, I will be able to use the job action trained finesse. Trained finesse will increase quality at no cost to durability. Whenever manipulation is active at the same time, I will actually be gaining back some durability. With this good condition here, I'm going to be using precise touch to increase quality and it will be buffed by my last step of innovation. And let's see what we get after. I have another good condition. With this good condition, I'm going to use tricks of the trade to get back some more CP and I will actually gain back some durability because of that last step of manipulation. I have a long way to go to meet the minimum quality requirement, so having the extra CP will definitely help out. So I have 416 CP and a sturdy condition that I don't really need to use at the moment. So the plan is to use manipulation and then innovation however I used innovation here because I decided to do this at 4 in the morning for some reason so innovation then manipulation I have a good condition so I'm going to use precise touch here and then I'm going to spam trained finesse even though I'm at 10 durability I have nothing to worry about because I'm gaining back some durability as you can see each time that I use trained finesse I use that innovation there and then I'm going to continue to use Train Finesse. So I'm at 35 durability. Now I am at 40 durability, and that's all thanks to using Trained Finesse while having Manipulation active. I used one more trained finesse here just because I saved so much CP throughout the craft. I just used it just because. However, let's just go ahead and complete the craft. Um, I'm going to use a great strides and then a beer god's blessing. All right, so beer god's blessing right now. And let me see that red bar, please. Thank you kindly. Um, I have a pliant condition as a parting gift. I'm going to use careful synthesis and then I am done. I want to show another example of a successful craft, so this time we will be crafting some hardware for the Water Otter Fountain. Muscle Memory is already active, so I'm going to use Veneration and see what we get. I have a good condition here, so I'm going to use Precise Touch. This is going to give me two stacks of Inner Quiet, and it's going to come in handy once we get into the quality phase. But we're still in the progress phase, and I really want my malleable condition. So I used Careful Observation, and I got a primed condition instead. So I'm going to use the manipulation here, and that's going to be extended because of the primed condition. I have Centered, so let's go ahead and try this Rapid Synthesis. Alright, so it was successful, and I really want that malleable condition so let's go ahead and use careful observation i have the malleable so together the malleable and this veneration buffed the rapid synthesis but as you can see i'm still pretty far away from getting to a point where i'm one step away from completing the craft however i'm just going to jump into the quality phase starting with the innovation so I have a good condition here, so I'm going to use Precise Touch to get two stacks of Inner Quiet. Then I'm going to use the 1-2-3 quality combo to increase quality. Alright, so let's do it. So I'm going to start off with a basic touch, and then I'm going to go standard touch. Um, oh, I have a good condition, so I'm going to take Precise Touch instead. Um, that's going to leave me with seven stacks of Inner Quiet. So I got a malleable condition here and I have seven stacks of inner quiet. Whenever I have seven, I like to use the one, two, three quality combo to make it an even 10 stacks. So I'm going to try to take advantage of this malleable condition by using rapid synthesis. And I shouldn't be surprised, the rapid synthesis was not successful. So I'm gonna go back into the quality phase, the primed condition there, extended innovation. So now I'm just going to use my one, two, three quality combo. So I'm going to use the one two three quality combo in order to increase quality i have a centered condition so the temptation is to use
use hasty touch but i want something guaranteed i don't want to play around with any rng so i used basic touch and i have a good condition so i'm going to use precise touch that was a no-brainer there so this primed condition showed up at a great spot i need to re-up on manipulation so the primed is going to extend it by two additional steps and since i have 10 stacks of inner quiet it's time to start spamming trained finesse since trained finesse doesn't reduce durability every time that i use it with manipulation active i'm going to gain back some durability and your eyes don't deceive you the animation for trained finesse has changed it just looks like i'm doing too much in my opinion I'm at a crossroads here because i have a malleable condition i can attempt a rapid synthesis here and get within one step of completing the craft but i will not allow rapid synthesis to break my heart again so i'm going to use a groundwork now let's go back to increasing quality and to do that i'm going to start with an innovation and then spam trained finesse and we can enjoy the new trained finesse animation together i got a centered here but i'm going to skip over it because i want to restore some durability by using trained finesse and i also skipped that one too in order to restore durability by spamming trained finesse so here i have a pliant I need to save 74 CP for my quality finisher, so I am going to use a trained finesse again to increase quality. And since I have one more step of manipulation left, I'm gonna gain back five more durability. So I'm going to use trained finesse and see what I get next. I have a normal condition. I am still about 2000 away from my absolute minimum that I need to reach before using my quality finisher. So I'm going to actually use careful observation here because you can't take them with you so you might as well use all three of your tries and now I didn't get anything that I wanted so I'm going to use innovation here and I have a pliant which is very useful um, I also noticed that I did not use heart and soul so first let's go ahead and use um, trained finesse and I got another pliant so I'm going to use heart and soul then precise touch so heart and soul precise touch because that's going to increase quality so go ahead and use that and see what I get after I got another applying condition so either way I'm going to use great strides didn't matter so one thing that's important is to know the value of your quality finisher with innovation great strides and then beer God's blessing so mine is more than enough so let me see that red bar I can breathe a sigh of relief because it's almost over so one more careful synthesis and then another and the craft is done let's go so that's all i got for this video on crafting the smaller water otter fountain if you have any questions please let me know in the comments i will catch y'all in the next video until next time peace